Okay, I guess I can take my mask off now. Woo! How's it going, people? Welcome back to Inquire Mobility. I'm your host, Artie Lopez, and, uh, well, I'm heading home from my shoot, and uh, it's all about this car, which I'm right behind what we love, MG5 Alpha Edition 2020. If you're not that familiar with the brand MG, well, they've been around since 1924, British Marque, actually, but... They've only been in the Philippines for less than two years. They're approaching their second year anniversary, and when that happens, it's going to be big. But they did come up with something really significant, and that would be their new tagline, with which they stand behind very passionately. That would be, expect extraordinary. Yeah. Well, MG, I'm so sorry to say, but I sort of like expected you'd say that. <laughs> well, just because they've been churning out some exceptional nameplates lately and the first one that really caught my eye is the MGZS Alpha Edition. Now since then, um, nameplate after nameplate, namely the uh, MG6, the RX5, now this MG5 is in the market and still making waves in terms of how the Philippine market actually sees it. It's quite impressive that in a short span of time they've been able to garner that kind of reputation and that kind of positive feedback from the local market. And um, mind you, not a lot of people are that familiar with the Marque MG, even if it's a famous Marque. Um, I'm talking about millennials and well, Gen Z types. Um, but it's not really that. It's the whole packaging. It's how they've been put together in terms of the feature, the amenities, the looks that um, basically great value for the money you plunk out for every kind of MG. Um, this MG5 comes actually in four variants. Uh, top of the line is the Alpha Edition and it is just under 950,000, right? And the entry level variant is under 700,000 pesos. Now its main competitor would be um, the Toyota Vios, which is also a subcompact sedan. And uh, well, there's a big difference. The MG5 is powered by a four-cylinder gasoline engine, 1.5 liter displacement with turbocharger. So that means its 1.5 displacement is complemented by forced induction, meaning it gives you a um, little bit more oomph in terms of its power delivery, both acceleration and top speed. And not only that, but also fuel efficiency. So the MG5 top of the line variant Alpha Edition has power adjustable front seats, uh, a little bit more adjustment for the driver's side, but on a passenger side, also power adjustable. It has uh, more than ample space, a lot of space on the second row seat. And you can see that they are also sort of like giving connectivity a lot more emphasis here. So even uh, back in the second row, you get two USB slots for charging your phones, right? So two or three passengers won't have to um, what do you call this bicker about who gets to plug in <laughs> during traffic and up front you got two uh, USB inputs as well one for uh, connecting your phone to be able to take advantage of its Apple CarPlay and Android auto connectivity it also has Bluetooth connectivity by the way but another uh, port would be uh, I guess the one that is USB powered in terms of um, powering or charging your phone or gadget <laughs> It's funny, but I would say that I like the uh, throttle response of the MG5 compared to the MG6 in terms of it not having uh, discernible turbo lag and its acceleration is more seamless and gradual. I guess it contributes to a more relaxing drive if you're going to drive it all, like, all day. So it's smoother in that sense. Suspension also contributes to how it feels in terms of it being more plush than most vehicles in the same category. And um, yeah, I guess I'm a fan of driver's seats that are well bolstered. So these leather clad seats have enough side bolsters to make you feel more snug. So I don't know, it's not like I'm gonna drive this really aggressively that's gonna, you know, throw my body up, side to side that I'm going to need some lateral support a lot but it does help a little bit in terms of supporting your torso so that your core is not always like you know trying to keep you in place so 
it's like uh, something to lean on <laughs> on both sides of your torso. So, yeah, and it feels good, you know. It, it's like you're you're pretty well cocooned in the cockpit in the driver's seat. Well, I do think that MG's new tagline is not just a string of fancy words. It does have a lot of substantiation behind it. Just because MG is a brand has been churning out some nameplates that are nothing short of extraordinary. You know, starting with the MG ZS, the RX5, the 6, and now the 5, especially if you drive it, the Alpha Edition, you just see the kind of value that you get in the kind of package they turn out. You know, in terms of features, amenities, um, stuff that you won't find typically in the same category. So once again, this has been Artie for Inquirer Mobility. I'll catch you on the next quick drive. Please stay safe.